Having the right Notion template can completely change your game as a freelancer or as an agency. In this video, we're gonna cover five incredible templates that you guys can download right now using the links in the description. Now, the first four templates that we're gonna cover here and all the timestamps are gonna be down below. So you guys can go ahead and play around with which one you wanna see. Are you gonna be quite simple to use? The last one is gonna be a little bit more advanced. So keep that in mind, but it's also the best one. So use that as you will. Thank you Notion for sponsoring this video. More about them later on. But the first one here is gonna be a very simple project management management system. Now, using something like Notion can help you create almost like an admin for your freelancing business or even as an agency. And this one here is a perfect example. So here we have a very simple project management where we have projects based on a couple of different terms here. So we have what area it's in. So either that's in marketing and business product, and this can be anything that we want it to be. So maybe we could have branding, web design, web development. We can have different categories in this case. We have the start date, due date, status, who the leader of the project is, the participants. So maybe I can add in people from my team here and I can say this person is not in it, this person is in it. And then some tasks that we have with this project. So I can create a new one here and I can say, create a new guideline for branding something like that. And after we create that task, we go into the detail here and I can assign a due date. So I can say it's due today. I can give it to myself and priority is going to be super urgent. So this is something I missed out on. And as you can see, it's going to be now in the today panel. So this is a great way to organize your project, whether it's by tasks, by this project here, by the Kanban. So if I wanted to say that these I haven't started yet, this is in progress, these are done. This is a great way as well. And then also the timeline based on what is due when. So great way to keep in check of everything. So the next one here is going to be a little bit different. So this isn't necessarily a project management tool or anything like that. This is going to be a very simple proposal. Now, the great thing about something like Notion is that we can customize it completely depending on what client we are talking to. So in this case, we have the scope of work on top and then we have some recent work as our portfolio. On the bottom one here, we have the timeline, some milestones, and you can just drag this as much as you want. And you can say, okay, all of this here, let me just go right here. And I can say, we're going to start discovery call. Okay. And that's just going to take a couple of days, just like that. This is gonna take some less days. Okay, cool. So now we're done here. Let's take a look at the breakdown of the pricing. We're gonna go digital marketing this much, graphic design, UX design this much. And in the end, we have a total sum. So this is a great way to create a simple proposal to send to a client. Now you can customize this a whole lot more as you can see down here. Now down here, we have some essential plans. We have some monthly costs that we can go ahead and customize. So feature one can actually be, we can talk about hosting and next one can be, security. Next one can be, we can change up your images. We can add you more blog posts, you know, so we can go ahead and really customize this entire thing to be super, super critical for that specific client. Down here, we have some terms, so you can really customize this as much as you want. And the great thing is that once you're done, you just go ahead and share this to your client. You can publish it directly as well. And you can see how that would look like when we go ahead and take a look at that. So now if I'm a client and I'm taking a look at this, I'm saying, wow, this looks pretty good. You know, it's, it's a proposal. I have my timeline here. I've got my breakdown of the pricing. I can take a look at the landing page that they designed here. I can take a look at some of the monthly costs. And so this is just a very simple and effective way of creating a proposal like this that can just get the message effectively. Next up is actually a file that I created, which is how to price a Webflow project. Now, this is going to be something that you can use during a call on your discovery, for example, or an introductory even. So something that you are kind of getting to know the client. And here's where you can put down all the different parts of that call. So we have who the client is, the company name, the values, things like that, what their struggles are, what they actually need. So the service, whether it's design, build, SEO, their competitors, their timeline, their budget. And then down here, some more individual points like, do they have a CMS? Okay, they don't. Do they have an e-commerce or will they need hosting? Will they need something else in this, in this world? You know, so as you start to fill this in, you start to get more of an idea of how you should budget and price this project. Now, once you fill this in, you can either just keep that internally or you can actually send it to your client and say, look, this is where we want to be. So between 10,000 and 25,000, that's what we estimate this project to be. And so this might be your own way of doing a proposal. So it's similar to this last one here, but it doesn't have the timeline. It doesn't have the breakdown. So you can go ahead and just add these. That's the beauty of Notion. You have these kind of templated aspects of the way that you can build these pages. And so here we have the milestone, we have the breakdown. And so now we just created an entire new proposal with the information that we gathered during that call. So that's a great way of, of actually creating this kind of proposal. I didn't even plan that during the video. That's just kind of happened naturally. But this is a great, great way of creating these, these very natural, very fluid proposals for clients as a freelancer. 
Now there's two left. The Notion Simple CRM they're gonna to talk to you guys about is a more simple version of the next one. So the last one here is gonna be the more complex one, but stick with me here because this is something that's very, very important. Having a pipeline of all of the clients, all the projects that you are dealing with is a great way to keep track of everything that comes in and everything that goes out because a lot of times you might get a ton of leads and you're gonna be saying, okay, there was a lead in my inbox for $5,000 for a simple site or a very complex site what happened to it? You know, it kind of fizzled away. I didn't really think about it too much and now it just kind of left. Well, this is a great way to keep track of everything that you need to do and all the clients that you're talking to. In this case, we have a few different ones here. We have Mr. Zuckerberg, we have Ivan Zhao, Dylan Field, and Ben Lang. Of course, these are all placeholders, but stick with me here. So once we open this card up, we have a couple of different fields. We have the title, the account, all these different kind of qualifications here. We have if they are a warm lead, a cold lead, something like that. We have the last contact, when the next next meeting is going to be, how you're going to talk to them, if it's in person or not, or if we even need to archive it. And then lastly, the estimated value of the project. Now, this is great because when you go ahead and close this up, you can see here that the qualified estimate total here is going to be $35,000 almost. Now that is due to me being a little bit silly with my pricing here and adding a 30K project, comparing it to the smaller ones here. But And then as we go down the pipeline here, we can see that the contacted, negotiated, quote sent, closed one and closed lost gets kind of thinner and thinner, right? So we can go ahead and just move this down as we talk more and more to the clients. So this is a great way to just keep track of everything. And in the end, you can say, okay, this sum didn't go through, we lost it, but we did win this one. So you can kind of calculate your percentage wins and you can see what your systems are actually doing for you. Because if you have no way of kind of tracking how your systems are working, then you don't know if you need to improve, if you're doing great, if you're doing badly. So this is a great way to, to keep track of all of that. Now, the last four have all been completely free. In fact, I'm gonna leave the links to all of them down below so you guys can easily check them out. But this last one here is gonna be a paid template. So this template is the operating system created by The Future, a YouTube channel based on design and web design that actually influenced me a lot. So this is a great toolkit that they've created for freelancers for agencies and just solo designers in general. So let's go through it. So here on the left side, we have this bar that says process, storage, page navigation, and then we have my tasks. Can also go by my priorities, my calendar, need scheduling, and done recently. But for now, we'll just stick to task board. And let's go ahead and take a look at how insane this is because this is basically a custom made Jira or Asana or something like that for yourself just using Notion. And this is something that's incredible because, well, let me just show you guys here. Let's stop talking. So let's go ahead and use this fake project that I've created here. So this branding project template, and by the way, to create something like this, you go to new or you go down to the drop down here and you select one that you want. So by default, it's going to give you a general one, but if you want to do a branding more advanced, whatever the case may be. So let's go for the branding one here, just this example. So like the previous templates, we have all these different different ways to think of a project, right? We have the status, whether we're in planning, whether it's blocked, whether we need someone to come in and help us, if it's planning and progress, whatever the case may be. We have who the client is. And what's cool about this is that we're now starting to interlink different pages together. Now this here is exactly why this is a paid template because when you add this type of capability, it becomes a lot more valuable. So here we have this client card and I've used my name as an example, but in the client card, we have the primary contact. We have the project that we're connecting it to. We have the asset requests. We have feedback, notes, billing, legal. So this is a great way to keep track of absolutely everything from a client. This is kind of like the state of information needs to be here. Everything about the client should live here, whether it's the contact information, whether it's the website, whether it's the assets that they've given us, whether it's the details about the project, it doesn't matter. You know, everything should be in one place so that everybody, client and you can figure out what on earth is going on. So that's the client side of things. Then we have the projected timeline, the actual start date, actual complete date, and you can just change this around as much as you need to. So we can say that, okay, we're actually gonna finish in October. The owner in this case is also me, or it can be anybody that we want. We also have assigned. So if you are the owner of the project and you're also the one who's gonna be doing the work, then you should be the one that's assigned. Then there's the progress, you, how many weeks you have to complete this, and then the tasks. Now tasks is something that's very interesting because in this case, tasks are regarded as anything that is one week or less. So let's take a look at what we have going down here. We also have a project overview, so we can just write up a little piece of, of text here about what the project is about, some resources. So we have the creative brief. So all of this is included with this uh, Notion template here. It's a great way to just keep everything, all the resources in one place. Now, this is something that's very very interesting. So when you get this type of template, you also get all of these different tasks. So let's say that you start a project and now you say, cool, now what, right? I close the client. Cool. It's my first $500 client. 
what do I do now? Well, this is a great way to kind of navigate your way around that first client or even your 100th client. This is a great kind of road to, to follow. Even if you have done it many, many times, you'll still forget. Sometimes there's still things that kind of slip away. So this is a great way to just keep in track of everything that you need to do. So the way that you do this is you open up your onboarding phase tasks. You also have discovery, identity, and then delivery. So this is based off the branding project that we selected. We select this and drag it into our project tasks. Now that's going to create this checkable or organizable task. And here we can create, okay, we want it to be, this is one is done. This one is ready for review. This one is in progress and blah, 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 blah. As we go on through the tasks, we can go ahead and do that. Now, these tasks are also customizable. So we can go ahead and add in information about these tasks. We can add in the date that needs to be completed. We can add in the, the amount of effort. We can add in the amount of resources that need to go towards this. And this is a great way to keep track of everything. So if we go back home, we can see that all the tasks that we added here or at least the ones that we added to my name are visible in the task board and this is just a very regular Kanban we can move it to be ready for review in progress blocked you know we need someone to come in and help us out with something this is just a great way to manage a project if you are either alone or if you are working with a studio now this is the freelancer operating system as you can tell by the FOS here but this would work very, very similarly, if you are working with other people, if you have a studio or an agency, you can also see it by the calendar. Apart from that, but I do think that this is like the main, the main core aspect of it is just being able to organize all your work and your clients in one place. So you have all of these different things in one. You also have email templates. So this in itself, I think is more than valuable for what you're going to pay for this. But here you have email templates for every possible situation that you'd have with the client. So you have the welcome, the follow-up, the showing off the work, the approval requests, the templates. So there's nothing really else that you would ever need other than, I guess, the work itself that you actually now need to create. This kind of takes care of all the heavy lifting in terms of emails, in terms of organization, in terms of being able to communicate with the client that you're professional because you're organized and you have this entire system ready to go and they don't need to worry about anything. That is very, very valuable when you're working with big clients. If your system isn't necessarily set in stone yet and you're kind of juggling on how you should organize it if you should use Trello or Asana or this or that that kind of puts clients on edge so if you're using something like Notion and you have everything set in stone and you're saying look this is my system this is how we're gonna do it this 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 and this that will make your client feel a lot more safe and ready to go with a project and let alone speed things up that is the name of the game when we're using something like this Notion template it's gonna speed up everything so in this case we have a goal as well I forgot to talk about this but let's see here we have this branding project that we created and we also have a goal. So here we have, I want to sell the clients on maintenance, right? And here we have our OKRs. So we want to be able to sell the clients on maintenance and we have a deadline that we need to do this by. And the best thing is that we're connecting it to the branding project so that when this date comes up, we can see, okay, we actually forgot to do this. Let's go ahead and press on that matter. Now, similar to this last project that we take a look at here, the pipeline, we also have that inside of this Notion template. So we have this pipeline here where we have different performance metrics. We have last month, last year. We have this new lead, this last one here. Okay, let's go ahead and create a new one just as an example, deal template. Okay, the client is gonna be me again. And we can say the deal is gonna be 19,000. Let's just go with that for now. We can delete this one. Okay, so as we go through the the pipeline, we can say, okay, this lead is now, we'll call it generated. It's in our inbox. This person's asking for this amount of, of work. Cool, initial meeting went well. Mm, I don't think that they're going to be, you know, they're asking for way too much. Let's just leave it. I don't want to, I don't even want to think about, it, you know, or we can say, okay, everything's going well. We're going to send a proposal. They accepted. Cool. Let's go ahead and send them the contract. They signed the contract. Cool. We can go ahead and move this on to one. So this is a great way to just imagine you have 30 different projects going on at the same time. How are you going to keep track of everything? You're not going to, it's going to, something's going to slip. A client's going to get angry and it's going to be your fault. And then blah, 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 you know, just use something like this. You can keep track of everything that you're doing without banging your head against the wall. Now, I personally use Notion for everything that I do in my life, whether it's organizing my personal life, whether it's organizing tile bit, YouTube. I've used a massive Notion dashboard for my YouTube world for the last two to three years. So I've been using Notion for over five years, I think. And trust me when I say I couldn't live without it. This is one of the best, best tools for designers, for freelance developers, anything. If you're in this world, you need or you probably are already using something like Notion. And maybe I'll show you guys that YouTube dashboard at some other point. But if you guys enjoyed this kind of video, let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you Notion for sponsoring this video. I'll see you guys on the next one.